Hello and welcome back to the channel or welcome if this is your first time here. So this is our seven colour challenge. Two more people have joined the group which I'm so happy about. So there's Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock and Lisa from Banning, Panning and Beyond. I already know Lisa, I was the one that invited her to join the group um, and everyone else said yeah, they'd love to have her um, and also the same with Andrea. I don't know too much about Andrea, I've watched a few of her videos and I would really like to see more of Andrea's videos in the near future. Um, but I've not been able to as of yet, it's just been a really busy time. Um, so. We've got seven colours instead of five colours, so I'm going to swatch them all um, and I'm not using them all on the eyelids um, because seven colours um, is quite a lot. So I'm going to be using one as a blush, one as a highlight and in a corner highlight. So let's go through the colours, let me tell you who chose what. Okay, so Desi from Desi's Corner chose Coral. Um, and it's given me the chance to use this 35i Icy Fantasy palette that my sister bought me for Christmas. And this is a shade in here called Coral Cloud, which is this one. Oh. <laughs> this one oh, it doesn't. Let me just take that off. This one here is called Coral Cloud. So I'm going to use that as blush. Let's just do a swatch. I've heard this palette isn't that pigmented. So it might not even show up as blush. I'm going to swatch it a couple of times. So that's the first colour. Right. Um, and then Colleen um, chose Slate Grey. So that one would be a good one for me to use as kind of an eyeliner. Um, where are you? Maybe it's in a different palette. But that's a Slate Grey there. It's just a bit shimmery. Let's see see yes a shimmer one I could still use it it doesn't look very shimmery on the on the uh, hand there that one is called black ice but that to me looks like a slate grey so it doesn't look black um, then we have Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock um, she chose mint green. I've got a couple of mint greens that I could use. So let me just get my other palette. Okay, so I've got this Makeup Obsession Keep It Fresh. This is completely full of mint greens as you would imagine it to be. Um, so that one just looks like that. And I was thinking of using Bite Me, that one there. Um, and then I've got The Deuce by Juvia's this one here that one's quite a minty green I should hope yeah let's just see what the difference is I mean obviously the Juvius is gonna be a lot more pigmented it's just a tiny bit darker so maybe I should stick with the keep it fresh and can you see how this one is lighter than this one um, so yeah I won't use that one um, out of the deuce. Well, I wanted to do a swatch. It's very, very light, so we're probably going to have to spray the brush for that. That's that one. Um, then I chose, since I've got the, the deuce here, then I chose tight which is this one here i think i'm going to use that as a highlighter plus an inner corner highlight it's like a white with a pink undertone a pink reflect can you see it there so that's four of the seven colors i don't know if i'm going to be able to fit them all on my hand um okay so naomi chose sky blue i don't know what i've got in here See, in both my palettes, in my Primark palette and in this palette, that's the closest I've got a, a shade like that. And that one in this palette is called Into the Blue. Um, and then in the Exotica, they don't have names. It's actually darker. So that one there. 
I think I'm just going to try that one because I wanted to test this palette out anyway. It is a little bit darker. Um, but I think I will try that one. Which I haven't even swatched. Sorry, Naomi. Looks like that. Um, I'm going to swatch this on the other side of the coral. So you can shear it out so it does look pretty sky blue. Um, right, who else? Lisa chose a great purple. And I hope this is the shade that you want. Um, so I thought I would choose this one from the... Sorry, from the Profusion Violets. And it's in the shade Aubergine. Wow, that's dark. Is there no shimmer? There's Concord, but I wouldn't really say that's a great purple. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe put it in the outer V. So that's that. And then I think there's just one more shade, which is Jens. Yeah, Cinnamon. Um, and believe it or not, I don't really have a lot of cinnamon type shades, but... I looked into it um, and this is quite close to being cinnamon um, I looked at so I looked at the I Heart Revolution cinnamon palette and it is that shade which is a lot like that shade um, and there was one in my Too Faced um, pumpkin spice but this one looked better so I know you can definitely shear it out which I really really like so that's the seven colours one two three four five six seven yeah that's the seven colours we're going to be using today quite scared I'm not going to lie so we're going to start off with a blush and the highlight um and then I guess we can do the eyes from there I've not got my eyebrows on or anything yet but that's that's fine we can do that later Right, so I'm, <coughs> I'm going to go in with Coral Cloud. It's really hard to get this brush into that Coral Cloud shade. But yeah, that's done. Best zoom you in. Okay, so now the highlighter. Now, I've never used this shade as a highlight. Um, I can't put setting spray on today like I would normally do to kind of like give it something to adhere to. And it is um, kind of flaky, so I don't know how it's going to go. The reason I can't use setting spray is because I'm doing a wear test on this. Um, and I've decided not to powder and I've not decided to and I've decided not to use setting sprays or anything like that so I just want to see how it lasts naturally um, so yeah now we're going to go in with tight <coughs> highlighter off that was on it already it's a BH Cosmetics brush. I don't know what number it is. I always say this, um, but I truly don't. Um, just purely because um, it's rubbed off. Oh, it's looking quite nice. I'm not going to go ham like I always do with highlighter just because it's one of those duo chromes. And the next time I'll use that is for the inner corner. Um, so we're going to concentrate on the look now and I really don't know what to do guys. I think I'm going to start off with cinnamon. Um, so I don't need to use that one and I don't need to use that one so it's just like going in like with five colours like we always used to so um yeah let's start off with the cinnamon shade my palettes are all over the bed okay so I hope this is the um shade that you was thinking Jen um but it was the only one that I could actually see and I've got the shade probably repeated a few times in other palettes 
and like I said it's in the a similar shade is in the Too Faced um, Pumpkin Spice um, but I wanted to try this one out damn it I haven't got my primer on let me go and get that because I'm gonna need it for the pastel shades okay let me put some lip oil on first my lips are so so dry it's better okay right so let's put some of this on it's just the NYX um, eyeshadow base in white the one that I've been using for a while now right let's get into it so Jen said she wanted to add this shade to give it a little bit of warmth to give the eye look a bit of warmth which I am really really appreciative um, just because I've got something in the crease if, if um, Jen hadn't added this I probably would have had to put a different transition down or maybe just gone in with mint green pastel or something like that. Something light. I don't like, or me personally, I don't like anything that's too dark. So for once I'm actually filming this ahead of time, I think we're only putting it up on the 24th and it's only the 21st and I'm in agony guys, I'm sure I've got um, gastroenteritis, I've had it before and it just feels like the same way as what I've had, um, so yeah, just in a bit of pain today, I could have left this till tomorrow really but I just want to get it done just because I've got other videos to film just going to add a bit more of the cinnamon shade in the outer V and that's quite like a kind of grey purple isn't it no I think that one's better because that one is just going to end up white looking black <clears throat> so that's that right I don't have a clue about this colour story this month guys right let's go in with the purple the great purple so this is Lisa's shade she's come on board completely and know she's never been part of this club before and I'm so happy to have her in the group um, I speak to Lisa quite a lot, I haven't really been doing so much lately but yeah under like normally I do um, but yeah I'm just going to put this I think aubergine shade in the outer V I love Lisa's channel um, she started doing Mass Mondays and she started doing other series on the channel. I think it's um, I think there's one called Wellness Wednesday. I've not gotten gotten around to watching that yet. That's next on my list. Um, but yeah, I really really like her channel. She does a bit of everything, really, like we all do in this club. Holes. Um, love the multi-chrome she gets. never get this eye right it just seems to be quite patchy for some reason and it always happens so it's not the eyeshadow I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, 
Right, so what's up next? So maybe sky blue. Sky blue and mint green, I think they look good together. So let's try them. Um, so again, we'll get the Primark palette. So we're going to be using this brush. Oh, it's pigmented. Right, so how many colours have we used so far? So I've used the Tarte shade from the Deuce. I've used the coral on my cheeks. I've used the purple. I've used the cinnamon. I'm using the blue now. So is that five? I think so, yeah. It's confusing me, all these colours. God, could you imagine if we ever got to ten? It's a really nice blue this, it's really pigmented. Oh it was on the right eye. Again, it doesn't seem to want to be that pigmented on the left. Right. So now we're going into the minty green shade which I don't think this is going to be as pigmented it's just from the Keep It Fresh palette and like I said earlier it's in the shade by me oh would Fresh AF be better? now I'm going to go in with the shade by me as planned so I've really gone in there oh that's actually looking really nice with that blue So I want to leave a pretty um, decent amount of gap just for that tight shade for the inner corner but that's looking nice I'm going to spritz that when I've done the other eye to get it more pigmented these little makeup obsession palettes are pretty good you know um, I really like the keep it sunshine one not even called keep it sunshine something about sunshine no sunshine makes me happy that's probably my favorite out of the lot right let's get some spray okay so I'm just going to use the last bit of the spray from the collection setting spray I've got then go back into bite me I'm hoping I've put enough colors down I know I've got to do the slate grey yet, yeah, that's got to go on the bottom. Oh, I like it, I like that, how it's looking at the top. So we just need to get a smaller brush so I can do the inner corner with the tart shade. Okay, so I've just got this little accent brush from Real Techniques. I'm just going to put it through the colour switch and go back in with tight okay and put this in the inner corner drag it up here and we're going to be spritzing the brush as well because this isn't that pigmented I bet everyone else has used like seven eyeshadows on their eyes well if they have then next month I'll have to do the same but I just thought I would do it this way for this month right I'm just gonna get the spray <clears throat> go back into the tight shade oh yeah that's better It's raining again in the UK. This is the third day that it's raining. And it's when I say raining, I mean 
quite badly. We don't normally get that in the UK. Now in certain parts of the UK where I'm not where I'm from but like in Wales and um, places like that which is higher up from where I am they get floods and Manchester have just like they've been evacuating people because there's floods like in, in a place called Didsbury and that I used to live not so far away from there it's like wow right so Right, let's have a look at the colours. So we've used cinnamon, great purple, sky blue, coral on the cheeks, um, this tie as a highlighter, mint green on the eyes. So yeah, it's just a slate grey. Um, I had to just go through that. Sorry. Um, yeah, I had to go through it just to make sure that I've used all the shades that I need to be using. You can use extra shades in this collaboration as well, but obviously I don't want to use any extra today. Um, I normally do, but obviously I just want to get to grips with using seven. <coughs> I need a I need a brush for that slate grey eyeshadow. This one I'll do. So this one sounds like it's thundering as well. Um, this one is. Colleen's so it's uniquely individu individually made um, colour that she picked I love her channel as well I love all the ladies channel the only one that I don't really know so much about is um, Andrea's and yeah I just need to get to grips with that one a little bit more but yeah I do tend to try and watch as much as I possibly can um, but it's not always possible I might work this as well. Get it a bit more darker. Oops. And I'm sure Colleen's in that Mask Monday group. No, I'm not, just because I've got so much going on anyway. I've got like seven days, seven looks, seven palettes, and anything else. I decided to do extra. Now it's not as dark as I thought it might be. Let's um, let's do the other eye and then we'll spritz it. That certainly isn't black. Right, let's spritz the brush. my favourite look since I joined um, the group. I'm actually really really liking it. I was a bit worried when I heard the colour story but that's me all over. I'm always worried um, when I hear the colour story each month. So the rest of the group that I haven't spoken about like Naomi Beauty Dreams with Naomi. I've sp I speak about her every single month in the group. Um, she does um, unboxings, or she has done in the past. She's she does like makeup tutorials, um, hauls, things like that. It's pretty much we all do the same thing. Some people just do um, more than others, I would say. Um, like. Lisa with the masks I don't I don't really do that on the channel the closest I get to that is when I test masks that glossy box have sent to me I've done a couple of videos this week where I've been testing products so they'll go up on the channel really really soon um, and then the rest of them are in like previous videos as well where I talk about them and what's on their channel so I will so I do talk about all the other ladies in the previous collaborations I've done with um, 
them so I don't feel like it's necessary to talk about them in every single video um, but they are great great ladies and I would love it for you to go and check out their channels like I said there are two new ladies in the group so show them some love as well I'm sure they would really really appreciate it so yeah I'm loving how it's turned out the look so far but obviously we need lipstick and I need to put my brows on and mascara and eyeliner so let's do that that's seven shades on because we've got the blush on and the highlighter and then we've got the highlighter sorry the tart shade in the inner corner as well um, so we've used all seven colors that were picked right, let me just go and get a lipstick I'm jumping the gun a little bit so we need to put some brows on I'm just keeping it simple today and just putting brow gel on but before I do that I'm just going to comb them out I'm so appreciative of being in this collaboration and meeting these ladies um, it's just a really really fun collaboration to do each month um, and especially when new ladies join as well it's really really fun and you get to know like other people yeah you get to know other people that you don't that you wouldn't necessarily you get to know other people that you wouldn't necessarily know so that's really fun um, let's put the eyeliner and mascara on first Right, so I'm just going in with the Too Faced Love Eyeliner. And then I'm going to try this mascara out. I've actually found it. I was looking for this for ages. I turned the whole bedroom upside down and I found it. But I think it might have dried up now. But that's not a problem if it has. Because I've, I got that one from Essence. It seems to be working so it's just the Primark one the 3d lash effect which is quite nice it's looking really pastely like that purple that I used before is not is it doesn't even look like a place purple down there now looks like it's been worn away so I might just try and put a little bit more in there I think I've just blended it away to nothing I'm just gonna leave it like that I'm not gonna blend it in anymore and then I'm gonna go and grab a lipstick now what I thought about doing, because um, you can't really see the cinnamon shade either, I mean you can see it in the crease, um, but it's not really really dark, and this is a cinnamon lipstick I think, it's quite cinnamony, um, so I thought I'd put that on. I'm just trying to wipe the oil off my lip. should do it this one is really really nice I would say this is a dupe of a Too Faced one it really reminds me of like the Too Faced packaging but it's by W7 so that's what it looks like um, I really really like it I think it looks quite nice with the look um, so yeah I mean this is my look for today. I've got lipstick on. Just a lipstick on my tooth. Um, so yeah, this is my look for today for the seven day collab. I really, really like how it's turned out. So yeah, I'm hoping I've got the colours right in what the other ladies were asking for in the group. I think I have. Um, but yeah, I mean... I think it looks nice let's see I'm just gonna try and build that cinnamon shade up a little bit here um, just because it doesn't look that 
pigmented. It could be the um, oldness of the palette, ageness. It could be the age of the palette. It's actually getting pretty old because no matter how much I'm putting on now, it just doesn't look like it's building up. I think it's just a really light shade. Right, we'll just leave it there. I am liking the way it looks. Um, so guys, this concludes the video. All I've got to ask now is for you to go and check out the other ladies. I would really, really appreciate it. And I'm sure they would too. Um, so yeah, please like, subscribe, share and comment. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.